This is example 5.10 on page 188 of our textbook. And this is another example of predicting the product of a neutralization reaction. So here they ask us to write the molecular um, and net ionic equations for the reaction between aqueous acetic acid and aqueous potassium hydroxide. So this is another neutralization reaction where we're going to be combining an acid plus a base to make salt and water. So first thing we need to do is predict our products, balance our molecular equation, and then from there we can write our complete and net ionic equations. So acetic acid, the formula HC2H3O2, and that's combining with potassium hydroxide. And remember, if we're swapping partners, so the H of my acid goes with the OH of my base to form water, and then the anion of my acid goes with the cation of my base to form a salt. So I'm going to be producing KC2H3O2, and I don't have to add any additional subscripts because potassium is a plus one ion and acetic um, or acetate is minus one. And then we also form water. Let me make sure I write my phase here, the aqueous phase, and we're adding water, H2O, which is a liquid. So if we look at this reaction, it is actually already balanced, so we don't have to change anything about that. And now we can work on writing the complete ionic equation. So right off the bat, one thing that's different from the last equation is we have acetic acid. And if we go to slide 57 on our PowerPoint that lists some common acids and bases, we can see that acetic acid is a weak acid. And what that means is in solution, acetic acid does not break up into its ions. The definition of a weak acid is that it does not really dissociate in water. So we're going to leave it together in our complete ion equation. Potassium hydroxide, on the other hand, is a strong base. So we are going to break it up into its ion of K plus and OH minus. And then we can go over to the other side and we can look at potassium um, acetate, which is a ionic compound. It is a soluble salt. So therefore it's going to break apart. It's gonna become K plus plus C2H3O2 minus. And then we know water as a liquid never breaks up into its ions, so it just remains H2O. So now our complete ionic we have written, we can look at what is an ion on both sides of the equation. So the only thing that cancels out here is R potassium ion, and it's the only spectator ion, spectator ion technically in this equation. So therefore, that makes our net ionic HC2H3O2 aqueous plus OH minus aqueous produces C2H3O2 minus plus H2O. So because we have this weak acid in this neutralization reaction, not all of the ions canceled and we don't just produce water by itself. We have acetic acid plus a hydroxide ion produces acetate and water. So your complete um, answer, molecular equation highlighted here the complete ionic, and finally the net ionic.